Come with me for my lesson with JD Golf Academy using their 3D force plate swing catalyst, which I have as well, but we're using them with other people's always good fun for their interpretation. Also using the gear systems to check where things are in my swing. Some excellent teaching here from JD Academy. And if you're interested in having lessons off them, maybe look them up online, JD Golf Academy, if you want, well, what I would say is a true golf lesson using tech, measuring, no guessing, and just getting to the root of any course really quickly. This is a fun lesson. Breaking force, right foot. I need to grab on. So we're gonna see where I am, Joe, with my trail arm. Perfect, fantastic. Because I've made progress. Let's hope so. I went and saw the guys at Athletic Motion. Yep. And they wanted me to get out of my verticals basically a bit earlier. In effect, they wanted me to straighten lead leg earlier. Okay, lovely. So I was a little bit too bent in lead leg. So I want to see how I'm doing with that. Perfect. Um, and we've also, we did it. We've already captured a few swings on Swing Cat. And you were seeing something in my trail foot that we might look at as well. Absolutely, yes. Um, so I've hit a few shots. I've warmed up. We've done some, swear, some uh, gears captures where I'm trying to do my normal stretch. And I'm trying to get out a lead foot as quick as possible, or straighten lead leg. Let's have a look at those captures and see if I've actually done it. Or okay, not. fantastic. How are we looking? So you have made some very, very good improvements to Thank this you. trail elbow. I'm impressed. It feels like a big stretch for where it was. To be fair, it's very good. So originally when you came in, you had your big trail elbow bend. Yeah, 120 okay. something. 128 degrees of elbow bend, Lovely. which is a lot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today, you have got 84. Wow. Great. That's a big difference that's in stretch. That's huge, isn't to be it? fair. Yeah, that's yeah. significantly wider. And yeah. I can feel that. I mean, I've worked on it, I can feel it. It makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so I really enjoyed that. Like we said, previous tour average, you're looking a, a nice round number. We try to get to 90, yeah. which, is, which is great. Rory yeah. was as crazy wide at 68 or whatever it was. Yeah. 90 degrees is, is lovely. Yeah. Delighted. So the stretching out has made a lot of sense. Yeah, you're in a much better, much wider position. I still feel like I get a little bit floppy. So I do yeah. feel like on my back swing, I can, I, when I film and I, 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 you know, I stretch and then I still have a bit of a sink. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like I can get out of this lead leg, like the athletic uh, motion guy said. Yep. And I've yep. done some swings where you can see I get out before You're posting on it stronger yeah i can yep. make myself get out before i hit the yep. ball which definitely is uh, posting that leg stronger but it's not as consistent okay so in the swing cat grabs that we did i wonder if you can see anything maybe in the back swing i so, always like something to trigger so i would say there is definitely something i can see okay. um which is not something you typically associate with your general kind of golf lesson yeah um your right foot Talk. So how much I'm turning down into the floor. like that way on the floor. So you're going right to twist foot. the plate out of the floor. Like this way? Absolutely, yes. For the, for the reaction to be the opposite, to, to get you me... into lead side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So at the moment, my force through this foot as I pull back is yeah, around so 20, it's, is it? So it's say? measured as a, like a generic force factor number. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so we, it's relative to other players. So you are twisting that foot into the floor at a 20 force factor. Okay. For someone of your athleticism and speed, that's not a lot of braking force. Right. We would want to see minimum mid 20s to work towards higher 20s, early 30s. So you, in effect, want me to feel possibly like I'm coiling more into this. Foot. Yeah, so you're screwing your foot down and into the floor. Yeah, I can feel that because I would say when I make my backswing, if you were to ask me how much I'm feeling like I'm coiling that foot into the floor before this conversation, I would say no idea. Yeah. Now, you, with you just saying those things and talking about talking that right foot, I literally, as soon as I practice that now, I can feel that engaging. And I can feel that I have to switch that on, that I'm not doing that. And this, I would say, for you and how you move, who tends to get a decent amount of pressure into trail side. Into this side. Correct, would need a significant stopping power or yeah. braking force to stop that, keep going. Because if I don't, then that's where well, I'm gonna see myself get Deep, late. Little, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to shift back in time. Okay, I like that. And then I presume, I would guess, that my 
20% force factor that I create in that foot is even probably a little bit late as well, is it? Yeah, like I said, when you when you peak, you're someone who peaks their pressure in trail side quite early, so which, which is great. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, but you, the, the, so ideally we want that peaked out at a similar car time as you're talking that right foot. Okay, so you want me to be peaking, when I'm moving my pressure onto this foot, you yeah. want me to be peaking the torque at yeah, the same time. Yeah, nigh on. So we've got a significant braking force to get you off into that lead yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give that a go. So it's almost like an explosion into my trail foot, yeah. and my trail foot is basically hanging on. Absolutely. Everyone will feel it slightly differently, but for you, like you said, it's quite a, it's quite a uh, dynamic move. Yeah, I mean, I can... quick, aggressive yeah. move. Yeah, I can feel that. I, I can feel it if I make myself feel it, as in I have to really feel like I'm turning, pushing, coiling down into that. Perfect. Like, aggressively. Perfect. Should we give it a go? Let's see what it does. Nice and straight. I mean, I definitely, I don't know where that one was. It felt more. Did it feel different? Oh yeah. Yep. Well, it feels explosive. It feels restrictive. In a good way? Yeah, well it feels like everything's tightening up. Yeah. It feels like the bottom half is doing a loads more energy. Yeah. But less kind of floppy movements. Yeah, so tighter. Way tighter. Okay, great. We like, like that. Crazy tighter. It makes me feel like I need to be very aware what surface I'm on and yeah. what traction I've got on my shoes. Yeah, footwear will make a big difference. If, there's, if the footwear, the spikes are poor, you're, well, you're going to struggle got, to do if this. If I've got soft spikes on here and if I was on dewy ground, I would feel like that's yeah, my knee's gone. It's yeah. going to go from underneath you. I'd feel like I want spikes. You can see why some of the PGA Tour pros still wear metal spikes, can't you? Like that, to me, Absolutely, under that trail foot feels like I am just exploding earlier than I would ever. I would normally feel like the trail foot pressures are almost building up of this part yeah, of my yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is late, like beyond and, late. Yeah, and for you, like I you said, you're you love to see forces come out early. Yeah, well, I hit my best shots when I'm using those forces on the ball rather than Lovely. hitting the ball and yeah. leaving them in the ground. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one more, and we'll see where it is. I really have to. Explode into that foot, but that foot hangs on. Not the best strike, that one, but I definitely felt like I was aggressive in my legs. Right. Like it feels fast. Like I feel quick. Yeah. Like you're, you're yeah, say so you're corkscrewing into yeah. the floor. You're, you're using the ground yeah. as a break. Yeah, I totally feel that. I totally feel like I am proper pushing off the ground, off the Perfect. earth on those. Should we see what number I got well, on those? So, initially one of the captures when you first came in okay there's our 20 force factor yeah okay which is comfortable easy yeah okay. and i can see it's late yeah and yeah absolutely it's overflowing over the back peak. over the it's start not, of the downswing isn't and, it? and it's not a bad peak but it's if you look at look to the right here force factors jumped up to 32. wow the peak is significantly steeper you're being much more dynamic with that movement yeah. which is only going to stop you quicker get yeah. you into your lead side quicker, yeah. getting all the subsequent forces out earlier. Yeah, because if I can, exactly, if I can basically, if I can have something prior to the event happen, to Correct. make the event happen. Happy days. That's much easier than trying to affect the event. Well, it's so it's like, late. yeah, it's like me driving at 100 miles an hour at the wall. And then breaking after you. And then it. trying to break it within 10 yards of Correct. it. Correct. Where yeah. if I don't go at 100 miles an hour, maybe go at 70. Correct. And keep good stopping distances. Correct probably won't hit that wall. And it's, it's like what we're saying, it's, it's, it's more for someone who does get a little bit of pressure in trail side, your, your sort of front left stacked player. Yeah. Not as much, because they're not putting as much force through that trail leg initially. Yeah. For you, I think this will work really nicely. So if we think about what we see from everyday golfers, yep. I mean, their interactions with the ground, I see it certainly coming into impact where their interactions with the ground are very buried, very slidey. They're not yeah. very good at using the ground, so they create force, but it's often like way late, so they don't get it on the well, ball. Well, what you just said there, well, you did the the impact position. Yeah, we also see a lot of that in backswing. Well, that's what I was just about to say. This feeling of restricting and more energy. So I feel restricted in the sense that my foot isn't going to slide. Perfect. 
but I feel like I'm trying to slide my foot yeah, out the, and around as hard as Opposite reaction again, isn't yeah. it? If, if you screw out and away, yeah. the force is going to push you in and up. Yes. And if you think about loads of amateurs who are kind of, like you yeah, say, they're just kind of swaying and... over here, actually getting some feel of this foot Would work in the really ground. well for them. Be careful of injuries, obviously. Yeah, always. But that's just relevant to anything you do, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm properly trying to spin this plate that way. Spin the top of it off the plate. Yeah, I'm yep. properly trying to spin that plate and that in effect is stopping me. Not that I was swaying, but it's changing the order of how I come down into it, yeah. the ball. Synchronising it significantly earlier. So for loads of people at home, trying to actually get a grip of how that trail foot is feeling in the ground would be massive, wouldn't it? It's definitely worth a, a try. The better way often to feel this is to get on an unstable surface. Yeah. Not a stable surface. Well, because you can feel it. Correct. So, and I do it so I've got like a tiled floor at home. Yeah. And I wear socks. So you're going to just slip So, out. you know, you could slide along yeah, and like yeah. the kids do, like when you're a kid, you'd yeah, slide yeah. along the old floor. And I get on that unstable surface and try and feel how much I can push it before I feel like my foot's going to go. Correct. And that really allows me to feel it. Often when you put people on a grippy mat yeah, with grippy yeah, yeah. shoes. They can't quite get the Yeah, well, same... the difference, that doesn't feel like they're not gripping. Yeah, yeah. It amplifies the, the feel. Correct. So for, I think, lots of people at home, I do things I used to do with students that I didn't have them. I had a cushion. Lovely. You know, like that off little, my sofa. Little tea towel. My wife chucked away, and I yep. put the cushion down, got them to take their foot off, yeah, yeah. their shoe off, and just get on that and feel where you're Happy pushing days. and pulling. And great it feeling. really made people feel. Yeah, really great feeling. Okay, I like that. So that's a third swing fort now for me to perfect this game of golf. Like I'm going to be there. Like I should go on the seniors. I was going to say, what, what age is that kicking at? What's that? What age does the seniors kicking at? Oh, mate, no, I'm nowhere near that age. <laughs> <laughs>